What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and we're back in RimWorld with episode 2. Sorry it took such a long time to get back with episode 2, it's been real crazy busy for me the last couple of weeks, so I promise the following ones will not take so long. So let me just pause and take a quick stock of where we're at. Uh, one thing I did notice watching back the videos doo -doo -doo, is I need to put a power conduit there. <laughs> but aside from that, let's see where we go today. I think my main goal today would be to set up a bit of defense, get some air conditioning on for our guys, maybe even start building their new structure, and get some trading up. So, in fact, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slap down an orbital trade beacon back there, and we're going to get a comms console somewhere where it looks good. That fits quite nicely there, and some wooden wall, please. Uh, no wood door. There we go. So, oh no, I've done that wrong. Hang on, hang on. Tiny bit more room. That's better. And is that going to connect up automatically? Looks like it has. Cool. Telax weapons. So, I think let's worry about first things first. Do, do, do. Let's start building these guys new sort of base structure and I think I might even build along this wall down here uh, we, we got plenty of this for the time being fella let's uh, cancel all these orders look at all that spare iron we do not need you doing that so let's have you building and no not door let's have some steel wall where should we start our first little complex mm -hmm. I just think down along here then. Do, do, do. And how big do I want their rooms to be? I want to give them plenty of room so they get the uh, the positive buffs when they're inside. Is that going to be big enough? Let's see. In fact, I'll just do one. Just check that that is a suitable size. Cluster pods. Come out the cluster pods. Ooh. Yes, please. Grab that before the going gets too tough. That's not too far away, is it? Oh, it's way down at the bottom. I'm going to have to cut our way loose. I think I'm going to have to do that anyway because there's no way around the sides here. I don't think we're going to be able to block this off completely. I think we might have to sort of defend further down here, maybe extend this out a little bit, but that'll do for the time being. And let's just have them put a door on there instead. So we're going to want a floor in here, the door building, nope, auto door, and the important part, a cooler. Of course we're in quite quite a hot area of the world, it's only March and it's already 27 degrees. Ooh, attacking immediately, group, well, that's not really a group of pirates, let's be honest now, that is an pirate, but so? I am not complaining. And pirate is better than multiple. <laughs> so Hodges is coming back. He has one weapon. Nanami has the other. So let's let them get a little bit closer. We got a trade ship as well. Cool. And then hold up. Now I need you guys to take up some ambush positions. So well, Hodges Hodges doesn't have the weapon. Who's got the other weapon? Bootcram's got the other weapon. No, no, Hodges. Hodges. What are you doing? <laughs> Get the hell out of there. I don't know. This guy doesn't seem to be particularly well equipped. He's got a dragon, which is like a... Well, right, yeah. Well, that was dealt with sufficiently well. Let's grab you. Ooh, what's he got first? Let's learn. Slowpoke. That's not too bad. Yep, grab him. Grab him, grab him, grab him. I just was checking that because I noticed watching watching the video back that Trovatelli here is going to be a bit of a problem. Not capable of a lot of stuff and also is depressive. Standard minus 15 to their mood is really not good. And Nanami, can you go and call the... Oh, it's a slave trader. I'm not sure necessarily we want to be calling the slave trader, but let's see. Anything useful? Sell more the surgeon. <laughs> Bionic nose. 
This is not really anything I'm after. Not at the moment, at least. I'm sure that sort of stuff will become very interesting later on. Rogers, you can go back to doing what you were doing. And more. We want to grab you. Thank you very much. Cool. Not too bad. Just still slightly concerned about the heat. Uh, only March, and it's already getting pretty hot. We get a heat wave on top of that, and it's going to get crazy hot. That's the only way we can hurry up with over here, please. I would very much like to... Done. Right, can we prioritize all this stuff over here? I would like to have this set up so I can know how big I need to build these rooms. I think that's big enough, but might as well be sure. Um... Yay, messy power. We'll clean that up later. Obviously, I'm going to rejig the power once we've got this sort of central structure has been rebuilt into something a bit more permanent. Not going to keep the wood, only because the whole setting fire thing is a bit of an issue, if I'm honest. Come on, guys. Get it done. This food supply is looking... We're a little bit low. I wonder if we could... Um, Add the growing zone. Oh no, that'll go on to the other. No. Let's find somewhere else to put it. That's not a sensible place. That'll do for now. And you can be growing strawberries. These are potatoes, aren't they? Yep. Cool. Also, this important, but you don't need. No. Why? Ah! Yes, weapons. And yes, silver. No, anything else. <laughs> Just spent ages moving it all there. So the idea would be we're going to continue this out into like a sort of slowly growing block of where our colonists themselves are going to sleep. I'm going to try and do everything kind of outside this time. I've done a lot of bases where they were tucked into the back of um, mountains and stuff like that and I just... it's kind of clunky. Pukram has in the end field. That's a good point. We have a, we have a spare weapon. I'll just equip yourself. They're a bit of a well, they are a blunderbuss, I think. Blunderbuss pistol, but uh, yeah. Ooh. Cool. So you set for colonists for the time being, and more. Let's check what you're capable of doing. Okay, so you're good at doctoring. Why is Pukram the doctor? Oh yes, because Pukram's useless at anything else now. I remember. And we'll also have ooh, hunting. Sure. Constructing, yes, 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 yes. Crafting, not so important. Repairing, yes. Growing, yes. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's see how see how she behaves. Could really really do with someone else growing this. Some of it's fully grown. Yeah, it just doesn't look particularly efficient at the moment. Everyone's busy running around doing crazy stuff. Right, finish it. Oh, there's a bit in the back not to be done. I see. Come on, I want to know if that's a spacious interior or not. Hurry up. And I want to get you some clothes, but that's a little way coming yet. Cool. Thoughts? No. Go back inside. It is a spacious interior. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, furniture. Let's have a. I don't know if these big beds make any difference, but I'm going to use one anyway, just on the basis that if they're a tiny bit happier, then that's great. And I'm going to use one of these funky ceiling lamps that someone pointed out in the comments. I'll be interested to see how visible they are, because you notice that that. I can't tell that's there at the moment, but it all, it's all about how they look once they're built rather than now, so. And a couple of pot plants, why not? Oh, 
What was that? A throne 4000. <laughs> no. Not wasting 100 steel on the lavatory. Not right now. Cool. So, in which case. No, no. Steel door, steel wall. Let's continue these out. And what else do we need? Ceiling lamps, beds, and plants. Now this is probably going to start taxing our power again, I would imagine. Uh, not have these touching, so we can actually repair them, even though there's still that thing where if they get hit by lightning and start a fire in the center, you can't get at it and they just burn to death. So be it. We'll move on from solar. As I said, this is a, this is a temporary position. I'm not, I'm not down with solar. I don't think it's particularly good. Just the fact that you've got to have so many batteries kicking around for the night times and then battery faults and boom problems. So, perhaps some modicum of defences? What have we got in the security tab? Because this has got a load of stuff I don't know. So I've got these base turrets and their manable doesn't come with a gun. So I'm not sure how you put the gun on them. Is it just any old gun? Do you have to buy specific ones? Slightly wary of using those. These are... They look cool, but they're very expensive. Um, those, I don't know, stun seems good. Maybe I should go for it. I'm thinking about maybe going for stun first on the basis that my guys have got guns, they can shoot. It's not really about that, it's about stopping them getting hit back. And then where... I mean, do we protect the back area or the front to begin with? Hmm. We've got, we got the iron to do this, the steel to do this, sorry. So, let's just give it a try. Stick one down there, and we're going to need to power her up. Cool, now you guys. Uh, Trovatelli gets a nice bed, definitely. Ooh, I've forgotten something as well. You need to use these vents, which again are something funky and new, to connect these rooms together so that they all share that one cooler and I don't have to run loads. Because indoors, 21? Seems like a sensible temperature, 10 degrees below outside. And then it rains. <laughs> of course it does. Ah, so our batteries are starting to noticeably drain at night time as well, so we might need to think about getting another battery on the go. There is just about room in there for another one, so... Last battery I'll build in this room. And then we will think about demolishing this and moving the stuff that's in there into a slightly more permanent environment. And let's... I'm concerned that if I get rid of this, it'll collapse. But we'll see. Justin Hendix. Sure. <laughs> if only. Was he supposed to be his long lost brother? That's not the right size. Oh. Ah! Wish there was some way of some button you could press at that point to cancel it rather than having to do it that way around. But so be it. Cool. And a door. And a floor. Build the floor first, just in case they can't. Oh, 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 oh. Then we'll prepare. And a blight has destroyed my crops. How are we doing for food? We are not doing great for food. Although we've got... Ah, uh, okay. We're doing fine for food. Ignore me. Loads of potatoes, loads of strawberries. We're good. We're good. However, men from the White Ostrich tribe... Well, at least they're on the same side as the stun turret. Still, that's... Are there any spare guns kicking around? Spare weapons? Anyone? There aren't, are there? 
this might sting a little. How many of them are there? There's three Shakram, Kapinga, and a boomerang. Damn. Better watch out for them boomerangs. And then one dude who's wandered the whole way down here already. Okay. Um, hey there, Mr. Dude. He's, he's wandered down, he's having a go at the stun turret. Guys, guys, guys. Stop him from beating up the stun turret. No, don't beat up the stun turret yourself. Stop him from beating up the stun turret. Trovatelli, do not do something stupid here. <laughs> Need grave. That we do. Should do us until we get a crematorium on the go. And the rest of them are oh, going to actually wait. That one was just very, very keen. All right, guys, come back. You're a Lee Enfield, you go there. You're a Lee Enfield, you go there. Hodges with your dragon, chill. Cool, here they come. Guys, 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 guys. Is, is it not connected up? It is. It's just not very good at standing. Or something. No, stop. Stop getting hit. Run away. Hodges. Can make use of your dragon. Well, go and finish him off. Come on. No survivors. <laughs> no, there will be a survivor. Damn it. Still, that was that was not so bad. If they all go like that, well, it helps when they're wielding clubs. Poor quality clubs at that. Wielding clubs and then one of them attacks first for no apparent reason. Trovatelli, Mr. Naked, please come and get some clothes. Carbon fiber tribal wear. Very cool. It's a good look. <laughs> sort of tribe has boomerangs and then wears carbon fiber clothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so it's still draining a little bit of power overnight. Is th that is that is running? It's just not very good. I think is the answer here. Um, I don't know. Wonder if there's something we can do research-wise to improve that. But let's finish what we were doing down here first. So, oh yes, only Trovatelli's actually been told to go and sleep over here. Uh, Pukram can have that one, and an army can have that one. And then we can get some more of these ceiling lights. Very, very funky. I like these. See, though, they're nice and visible once they're built, but they're not in the way like the standing lamps are. I don't know. You could say that was a little bit cheating, but goddamn, those lamps are annoying. Especially in corridors, like always having to make the corridors the right size to fit them in. And finally, another vent. So this is 21, 21, 22. Yep, looking nice outdoors. Not too hot yet, but just wait. There'll be the first heat wave. Then we'll know about it. And resources. We're running a little low on steel. Can't 
kind of want to open this area out a bit so that we can make a bit of a kill zone in here but actually hang on hang on hang on hang on let's not get too keen and do that at a point where we don't really need to you're idle oh yes because of course the crops were destroyed weren't they Got a couple of trade ships trying to tell you you can't see no you're you're angry everyone's hungry and an army has not been cooking why Now you see we have another grower now, so I think maybe like that. Let's have Prucram growing as well, because to be honest we don't ever want to have not enough people growing and run out of food. That does not end well. This is no time for sleeping. Now we've done that. I kind of want to make this longer, but that means already getting rid of this. So maybe that's what we need to do. Uh, down there looks okay. So I could, and there is a little bit. Is there a little bit more tucked away in there, or are we gonna have to use the one miles away still? Because as soon as I cut the whole way through here, this is gonna collapse on me. I'm sure of it. I do. Uh, no roof regions. Does that work? I don't think so. <laughs> A bit cheats. I hereby declare this mountain has no roof. How about that? Cool. Right. Well, let us get our new crafting area sorted. So that's all fine up there. I might want to move the stockpiles and growing zones and kind of start tucking the base a bit more in this area here so let's do that zones we want to get oh, that's not very helpful is it growing zones let's start that there then I can't have a complaint about that that can be our potato zone yep Not going to get rid of this yet. I'll wait for them to harvest it and then see stockpile. Kind of want is that 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 is the dumping stockpile, isn't it? Yeah. Why is the dumping stockpile somewhere so annoying? In the way. But then somewhere that does not provide the enemy with cover. Maybe, maybe if I clean this up a bit, we can have the actual stockpile just tucked into the corner down here. Yeah, I quite like that. Out of the way. As I said, I'm not going to build into the mountain this time around. I've done that too many times. It gets a bit tedious having to deal with the darkness problems constantly and I don't know, just always having to take ages to mine everything out before you can build anything. I like the building outside every now and then. Even though arguably it's a little less, a uh, little less safe. No corpses, thank you. All. And then we can get rid of that one as well. Clear up a bit of space in this central area, and especially once we get rid of that, and then we can shift things around a little bit. A little inefficient, but. I didn't really think about the layout of the base or how I wanted it when I started. Ooh, there was a combat supplier that I didn't spot. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we need at least one more of these nice cool rooms. And then we need to think about prisoner and medical. But I also want some research, so... Let's have a building opposite this, leave a bit of space that sort of height, yep that sort of height, let's uh, do like a construction and research sort of building so how long are the tables? tables are three aren't they? So leave space for one in the middle 
does, yes. Looks good. Going to be a high thoroughfare, high throughput room, so give it plenty of space. Being cheap and using wooden floors at the moment, I might change them later, but they look nice enough and, yeah, the wood grows, you see. It's kind of handy feature it has. Okay, so we're running out of steel, so we are going to have to go and mine this bit. And then where is our next steel supply coming from? What's this? More steel up here. Oh yeah, that was where the gold was hiding. Might just have to go mining into the mountain. I mean, it's kind of an alright option if we come in here. I know I said I wasn't going to put anything inside, but I might not necessarily put much in there. But there's certainly going to be some ore in there. Ooh, we have a storm as our first potential building on fire. <laughs> okay, food. You just make sure that you're growing in equal amounts. A quick sip. Hmm. Ooh. Nab that when I get the chance. And some silver too. Bargain bonanza. Not setting fire to our base, are you? I'd really rather if you didn't. rid of this zone. You're just giving up. Okay, so production. Actually no, we want to research definitely. Where's the research bench? There it is. Oh no, why would you do such a thing? Fine, this door will just have to not actually be a door. Not to be a wall. Oh, and this is another. Yeah, okay, I admit that I do like the ceiling lights because otherwise I was not going to get anything sensible in here. So, I don't know how important clothes are actually going to be for us, but uh, they don't like being naked, so let's at least have that option. Uh, we've got the butcher's table and so on in there. I'm not going to put the cook's table in here. We're going to do a separate room for that. So, let's get a smithing bench up. In fact, again, that's kind of useless. Let's just save the space. Save the space. We're going to need it later for some of the other things we can make, but not yet. Everyone looking happy? Trovatelli not about to absolutely lose the plot? No, looking actually quite upbeat. Good job, Trovatelli. And you've got something to research. What do we tell them to research? Geopower, yeah, that makes some sense. Energy pack, mobile devices. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Be interested to see what you guys think of all of these because there's lots of options now and I'm not 100% certain what to go for aside from our geothermal because I know I hate solar. <laughs> um, the rest of this, there's a lot of stuff there. I need machining yet. Ammo crafting could be handy. Mortars. Mortars, hmm. I'm tempted to click research on that but hey. I'll leave it for the time being. She can uh, continue with the geothermal first. But yeah, 
I'm going to, uh, that'll be when I end this episode. In fact, when the research is done, because she'll stick on that pretty much non-stop. I'm going to hit stop for today's episode and maybe see what your ghost feedback is on what we should be looking at researching in this mod. What's going to give us the best bang for our buck at this stage in the game? Otherwise, this has been yeah, lovely and quiet. Can someone go and finish harvesting these plants so that I can get rid of the construction zone? Ah, they're not grown. There we go. Should be it. Ready to harvest. Lots of ready to harvest. Oh well, I'll do it. I'll do it. I can always... Yeah. Aha! There it is. There's the heat wave. As expected. Cool. So is Trovatelli still naked? We sorted that out, didn't we? A hot even in there. Am I going to have to consider air conditioning everything? It might make sense, because the heat, if it gets bad, it gets really bad. Is he like, even our freezer's no longer actually freezing things? Seventeen? A bit young. Where are these guys got anything I need? weird stuff but not really anything that useful sculptures human eyeballs a power armor would be cool but it's not like I've really got the uh, the money to do that as with the nanotech but yeah I, I just don't have the cash for any of this stuff yet your guys your stuff is too cool for me I'm sorry not the prime trade opportunity So we want to do the fridge setup again, but this time in a permanent structure. So let's get ourselves loads of room. And most of this is going to be fridge, and a little bit is going to be cook room. So cool. I know I said I was going to end it there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish building this room, then I'm going to end it. I need a research project, but that's not the end of the world. Let's quickly just line up how the cook stoves are going to fit in here. Nope, 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 nope. think more like that and then yeah that's the sort of thing I was thinking of One specifically in there, and then we can actually. That's looking like it's not particularly keen for me to put that down until I've made the area actually into an area. So I'll leave that for the time being. But that's the idea. And then in here will be our freezer area. This will be a kitchen to cook things this time. It's a bit more room. The freezer I've not really made big enough again is the only thing. Um, I mean, it's it's all right, but. What I'll probably end up doing is expanding it once we've uh, got rid of some of this stuff over here, made ourselves a bit more space. In the end, this has been quite big and we've really not been using that very much of it. 
I've been stacking things up high enough that it doesn't really matter. It's the meals that take up all the room. Although they'll cook them quicker using this layout. This is quite a long way round for them to go. And we're out of steel. Anyway, guys, so there you go. Hit me up. What should I be researching next? What do you reckon is going to give us bang for buck in this colony? Take into account we are on 100% uh, difficulty, essentially, so attacks are reasonably vicious, reasonably frequent, and remember that heat is a problem for us, so maybe that factors in somewhere. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Promise it won't be so long this time. Okay.